everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com and today I am going to be doing a tutorial that I've been putting off for a while. When I was in high school and probably even middle school, I didn't do a ton of sewing like my daughter, but there was always a sewing machine set up in my parents' room. My mom loved to sew. One of my favorite projects to make was denim skirts from jeans. It's a practical project because if you get a hole in your jeans or they don't really fit anymore, like maybe they fit around the waist but they're too short. For kids, of course, in the fit area, they could be made into skirts. Sometimes I'd overlap the seams and put a little piece of fabric in between to add a little something extra. I remember embroidering words in the waistband just to add a little bit more personality. I decided today that I'm gonna make one for one of my daughters. She has a pair of jeans that has a big rip in the knee and she doesn't really have a whole lot of jean skirts. So I'm gonna revisit my middle school and high school days and make a skirt. I do wanna say thank you to today's video sponsor, Panasonic. I am going to be using their 360 degree freestyle cordless steam iron. Up until getting this iron, we've had one iron in this house, which no big deal, who needs more than one iron? Except for that, my daughter and I both sew all the time and we're always shuffling back and forth the iron. Sometimes it's up in her closet, sometimes it's in the sewing closet, and I always wonder, where's the iron? Well, now I have an iron of my very own. This one has all the bells and whistles. You guys know that I don't have a sewing room. I sew in the kitchen, I sew on the living room floor, I sew here in the dining room. There's no set spot, and so this cordless iron really fits my needs. I also love that it has a steam function, so if I hang up something like a quilt, I can just steam it down to get rid of all those wrinkles. It's gonna be really nice for my business because I use a lot of linen, and you also probably know if you follow me for very long that I don't even use an ironing board. I just, I don't have space for an ironing board. Even if I had one, I probably wouldn't get it out because I'm always just on the go, doing things quickly. Drive some of you crazy. Some of you probably can relate. All right, so let's dive into this project. I started by trimming the jeans just above where they were ripped. Next, I started ripping out the seams. This is the part that is the most tedious, but you can do it while going about your day or watching children, things like that, watching TV maybe. You just rip the seam all around the crotch area and then where the two legs are joined as well in the front and the back. Next, I hemmed over where the hem was before, but just pressed it in place to make it nice and tight. This will allow it to overlap. I like to not show a whole lot of the dark denim color that it still has from before it was washed, but in some areas, I actually did pull it out because it allowed me to get a little bit more length by not overlapping it quite as much.
Next, I overlapped it in the front and the back and pinned it in place. I tried it on my daughter and saw where it would hit and how tight it would be. Now this could depend on how tight your jeans are before. So if you have jeans, like in this case, my 10 year old daughter, this is a size eight jean. So I didn't really have a whole lot of room to play with. Now if these had been size 10 or 12 jeans, I probably would have had more width to overlap. But since I did it, I overlapped them just a little bit and then in the end, I ended up adding a bit of eyelet for extra length. Now I also could have added a longer ruffle if you need a little bit more length. This skirt in particular, she'll be wearing with leggings so I got away with a little bit less length but you could always add like a nice ruffle linen or something like that to give it some more length. To attach the eyelet, I just put the top raw edge of the eyelet, matched that with the bottom raw edge of the skirt, and then flipped it over, pressed the seam wide open, and then top stitched all the way around. I joined the two ends with right sides together and then finished by sewing that in place. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, thanks to Panasonic Cordless Iron for sponsoring this video. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every single week on food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. I have a whole sewing playlist. I teach you how to do everything from threading the bobbin to you know selecting materials, threading the top, and then making very basic things and then tons of projects. You can check out the sewing playlist here on my channel and I hope that you will learn to sew a few things for your own home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse. Wow.